One of the first thing you need to do when starting a business is to come up with a great business idea. A business idea is a concept which can be used to create a successful business venture and generate money. It may be an idea for a product, an object you will sell. For example, making and selling recycled crafts. Or it may be an idea for service. An activity you are performing for someone charging money for that for example setting up musical bands and charging people to watch your performance a business idea is really very important it forms the foundation of your business plan and also the starting point of your life as an entrepreneur it should be innovative unique have a clear focus be profitable in the long term and fulfill a customer need Firstly, it's a good idea to get your students thinking about the process of generating a good business idea and the important points to consider. This is how I did it with my class. Okay students, so now we have to start thinking about generating a business idea for our school. I've got some ideas of my own and I want your inputs on that. Okay, my first idea is tomato business. What do you feel about it? Yes. I don't think that's such a great idea because we don't have any land to grow the tomatoes on. Okay, so we do not have land for tomato. Right. My next idea is entertainment services. What about if we create a small dance group in school and offer our dance services at small wedding parties or birthday parties? What do you feel about this idea? I think it's a really nice idea. There are many students in our school who dance really well. Great. So for entertainment business, you feel that we have skills. So I'm putting a tick here. What about internet cafe business? What do you feel about it? Yes, Abhyudhya? I don't think that's such a good idea. We do not have many computers at our school. Also, there are several internet cafes in our local area. Okay. So for internet cafe business, you feel that we have lack of competitors and we are not strategically located, so that means our location might be a problem. What about the idea of making and selling jewellery in the school? Yes? Mama, I like that idea because in our school many students are very good at uh, art and craft and people in India like to wear jewellery too. Super! So for jewellery business, you feel that we have skills plus we'll be able to cater the needs of the customers also. Right. So we have skills and we are taking care of the needs of the customers. So let's review. You thought that some of these business ideas were great while others were not so great. While you were thinking about it, you thought what we had already available with us. These are called resources. Then you also considered skills like art and craft, jewelry making because we needed it if you want to run a business. Lastly, you thought about the location of our school which is also very important while you are thinking about a business. You also thought about what customer wants, like for the jewellery making business, you thought about the needs of the customer, like you said that in India, people like wearing jewellery. For any business, this is very important to cater to the needs of the customers and you have to plan a business which is always in demand. Well then students, give yourself a big round of applause. <laughs> Business idea generation is a great opportunity to get your students out of the classroom. Our students conducted a resource assessment around the school and listed all the resources they could find on a piece of paper. We have kitchen for the cooking purposes. Here we have a storage area. And we have a garden. Next, the students worked in small groups and discussed what needs are there in the community and what people might want to buy that they cannot. Again, they listed all these needs on a piece of paper. I think a lot of people in the community would like to buy healthy food as there are so many junk food places around. Finally, they put the two pieces of paper together. They worked in their groups to identify matches between the resources they have and what people might want to buy. This really helped them to start thinking of business ideas. Look, our community needs healthy and nutritious food. So we have kitchen, storage area, cooking skills. I think we could start a cafe with healthy and nutritious food. Yeah, That's how the idea of our successful school cafe business began. 
You can support your students further by passing on these helpful tips for generating a business idea. 1. Make sure you consider both what resources you have and what customers want. 2. Get inspiration from others. Look at what other businesses have done. 3. Explore as many ideas as possible and remember to write down everything. Finally, remember that a business idea alone is just an idea. A business idea supported by a thorough business plan and a good team is what makes your idea come alive and turns it into a promising business opportunity that is worth pursuing. So there you have it, brainstorming a business idea explained. In the next stage, we will help you to conduct the feasibility study with your students. This will help them to decide whether their business idea could realistically work given your time, area and resources. Till then, enjoy teaching the process of business idea generation. See you next time.